So today I am super excited to bring you this updated coin analysis on WanChain, my favorite coin of all of them. This one is gonna be huge and I am excited to show all of you. Welcome YouTube to Crypto Pigs. First, before I begin, let me just say thanks to all my subscribers and everyone who has joined my Discord. You guys are all amazing, making it super big. It's blowing up so fast, it's exciting. If you haven't already, come check it out. The link is in the description below. Also, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and let's get started. So what will I be covering in my coin analysis? The problems I solve, the project idea, coin purpose, team, marketing, competition, market cap, goals, pros and cons of the project, and then I'll finish it all up with a star rating from one to 10. So WanChain is trying to solve the interlinked fact that exchanges and wallets are mostly operated in a centralized way. And they believe that value exchange between different digital assets with a distributed approach will be a long-term goal in the blockchain and the digital economy, just as traditional banks are important in the current economic system. So WanChain wants to solve this by keeping their costs down, interlinking blockchains, not just Ethereum and Bitcoin, helping the unbanked, which are adults without access to banks backed by financial institutions. And then finally, they plan to help those who are running their own wallets, ledgers, and smart contracts on the WanChain platform. So what about their project idea? WanChain is building a distributed financial infrastructure on the Ethereum network that allows for the exchange of assets among different blockchain networks. Their goal is to enable more organizations to easily develop their own services and innovate in the distributed finance space. Also, any blockchain network, public, private, or consortium, which is mostly or partly private, can integrate with WanChain to establish connections between different blockchains and perform low-cost interledger asset transfer, which is achieved through decentralized cross-chain mechanisms and universal cross-chain protocol. So to summarize WanChain, they are addressing the issue associated with interconnection between blockchains while serving as a super financial market in the new digital economy. So what is the WanCoin used for? It's used for two primary reasons. First, to process fees for WanChain transactions and cross-chain transactions, and then bond deposits at each node for ensuring cross-chain transactions, meaning the more transactions ran on the WanChain network, the more WanCoin rises. So now they're a team. If you watched my last video on WanChain, you know I am so big on this team. First, we got Jack Lou. He's the founder of WanChain, and this guy gets his superstar for being the co-founder of Factum and was also a senior software architect at HP. And he gets his green star because he has been in this space since 1992. Next, we have Dustin Byington. He's the president of WanChain, and he gets his star for his work at Goldman Sachs for five years. Next, we have Welch. He's got super limited info, couldn't find him on LinkedIn, but he gets his star for his 20 years of experience in investment, business, management, and government relationship. After that, Ying, he's getting his superstar because of experience at Huawei, and he was also a senior developer of Ethereum. Michael Y gets his superstar for his work as a core developer of Mastercoin, Omni, and the biggest one, Factum. And so as you can see, there's a lot more stars, superstars, etc. I'm just gonna stop here in the sake of time. I do want to move over to their new additions to the team, which you can see to the side of me. We got Weija Zhang. Sorry if I said his name wrong. This guy is definitely a superstar. He published over 30 technical papers and is named as an inventor on 20 patents. He worked 14 years at Dell as a software engineer, and he's also holding a PhD in physics. Next, we have Jeremy. This new member gets his star for his previous work at Oracle as a senior engineer. After that, we have Anson Lee. He gets his star for his experience at Huawei, where he served as a senior software developer. Then our final addition, Da Pei Hu. He's a definite superstar. He was a former architect at Microsoft, Oracle, and Huawei. So if their team wasn't already ridiculously amazing, they go out, get a bunch more superstars, a few more stars just to spice things up a bit. Now for their marketing, their Telegram is blowing up. It's a super active community with members of the team there. Twitter, 
super active with announcements and updates. Medium, also super active with articles, updates, and announcements. YouTube is fairly active with a few videos from uh, Dustin. And then their Discord is also fairly active with announcements and several team members there to answer questions. So now for the competition, I wanted to keep this one fairly vague because I want to leave room for a possible versus video for WanChain. These are who I see are at least two main competitors and <laughs> just check out their market cap. We got Omisigo who's sitting around 2 billion and then Ripple. And we all know what Ripple's doing right now. Hit a hundred and like forty billion market cap yesterday, and who knows? I mean, can Wanchain take a portion of that market cap? I a hundred percent believe so. With the right partnerships and just overall success of the project, they might be able to give Ripple a run for their money. Plus, the circulating supply and just the total supply is so much more desirable. Ripple has more than sixty percent of their coins outside of circulation which is crazy in my opinion and many people see this as a centralized coin since the team has such a huge stronghold so now for their market cap they reached about 36 million dollars for their ico they have 107 million circulating supply 210 million total supply so the price was 880 wan per ethereum during the ico which equal to about 34 cents each the cap was 6.8 Ether for their gold whitelist, which was day one. And then after that, it was 65 Ether per transaction for the second day. So basically, with how fast it sold out, I'd be surprised if there's a lot of people that have more than one transaction that went through. US, China, and South Korea were all unable to participate in this ICO. And now for exchanges, there's so many people expecting and speculating Binance just like Icon did. Now, in terms of price, I kinda just wanna say this. I fully expect WanChain to follow Icon's price at exchange, which could be possibly eight to $10 off the bat. And if it follows Icon at all, it should drop to four to $5. So we'll see what happens. If it hits $10, people should be taking some huge profits. That's like 33 times ICO. That's crazy. So I wanna know your opinion here. What do you think the price will be? Do you think it will be identical to Icon? Granted, Icon has had a lot of success since they came out to exchange. So could that even drive the price more? They also will have their mainnet already out. So what do you think is a good jumping point for WanChain that you will decide I'm ready to go in? And when do you decide it's too high? Could you miss the boat if you do that? I would love to hear all your opinions on that. So now WanChain's goals, they haven't updated this yet and I have been told by their team that they are working on that right now. So obviously 1.0 is moved to this month and that means 2.0 and 3.0 could also be moved. Either way, stay up to date on their website. They should be updating their roadmap fairly soon. So now the pros and cons. This one's fairly easy. Pros, one of the best teams out there and they're still adding new talent. They have a, or they will have a working product. It's a proof of stake coin privacy protection, super hyped project, maybe one of the most hyped projects we've seen, the interoperability alliance, and then a huge potential. Could it be a top 10 coin? Now for the cons, they keep pushing back the token distribution. So people that have the token are getting kind of annoyed. They paid, Ethereum has really jumped. So they have huge competition and not all team members information is available. A lot of it has to do because they're Chinese and they don't use LinkedIn, etc. And then finally, they have an outdated roadmap, but should be fixed fairly soon. So here we go. I'm giving WanChain 10 out of 10 stars because I truly believe WanChain could be one of the biggest projects in 2018 with their exceptional team, ambitious idea, big partnerships, which I expect many more to come, and just the overall hype of the project and pretty much everything else you've just seen through this video it, it just has success written all over it. Plus, WanChain is known as the China's Ripple. And check out Ripple's market cap. Now, obviously, there are some cons, which we just talked about. But they, I, in my opinion, they're not big enough to take away even half a star. and could easily be solved, except for maybe the huge competition part. But I don't really see that as a huge negative. Still, this one could be super huge. And I plan to go on. 
and I plan to go big on this coin once it exchanges. Let me know what you thought of this analysis of WAN chain in general. I am super excited to hear what you all have to say. Come to my Discord again. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.